Hi, so in we're here again at DJ Tech Direct and today, real quick overview and the one thing that a lot of people seem to be asking about how to edit certain parameters that you don't see on the knobs up here. So this is the Roland TRO9, one of the two, well there's three, but the, the TRO9 and the TBO3 seem to be the ones that everybody's asking about. So I'll give you a real quick overview on here to how to actually access and edit certain things like pitch and decay on some of the instruments that you don't have knob access to on the unit itself. So in, to enable me to do this, I'm just gonna quickly put in a pattern. So um, I'll show you on here, really cool thing. So I've, I'm in um, pattern right mode and I'm in step sequence mode as well. So you'll notice pattern right is lit up there, step sequence uh, mode is highlighted there. So what you do is you press instrument select, which is this button on the end there, and then you either select bass drum, snare drum, low tom, mid tom, high tom, rim, clap, closed and open hat. There's a second closed hat as well, crash and ride at the end. So uh, at the moment we've just selected bass drum. So if I press it once, it's low level uh, velocity. So you've got off, well, low, medium level velocity and high velocity. So you'll notice they're all quite soft at the moment. I don't know how well you can actually hear that translate on the phone, but I know. Um, so that's full velocity now. Um, I can adjust the level of the kick on here, overall master levels on the back, um, the tuning of it, the attack, the decay, I'm just going to make it really short if you wanted, um, and then tonal accent underneath covers the, the accent for, across everything basically, so if you wanted the accents to be on every four you just place them in on, on there, I'm not going to go into that in this video. Um, so, let's find the sound that's bearable. Uh, if I want to put in like ghost kicks now, so half velocity, you'll notice that's a bit quite a bit softer. Now, I'm just going to quickly go through, um, add a couple of extra sounds. And then if I want to access the, the open high, this took me a few minutes to work out, being a bloke who doesn't look at man. Um, so instrument select, you'll see there it's closed, open, closed on that bit at the bottom. To access the open you hold both of those and now I'm on open higher. Now I can adjust on hi-hat here, I can do closed hat. Um, So well, before I mess anything up, it's come out of that mode. So I'll go shift and back to the um, sequence mode. So you'll notice now if I go instrument select and rim, those are the parts I've put in for the rim shot. Right, so here's the interesting bit. How do you edit that rim shot? Because all I've got on rim here is level. So I can't really change my time other than the, the, the level of, of the rim shot. So what I'm gonna do is press shift and next to this here, I see anything in orange underneath is a shift function, so press shift and edit. Now it says gain, so I can adjust the gain of the rim shot, go along to tune, and it will light up here anything that tune can affect. So you can affect the rim, the clap, and the hi hats with tune. And then if I go across the decay, I can affect the rim, the clap, the crash, and the ride. So what I'm, I want to do first of all is affect the tune of the rim shot. So first, uh, oh sorry, come out of edit. So you go back into edit, tune, and then select ring. So now we want the ring shot. You'll notice 
notice that's pitching up the room. And then that's taking it down. So, okay, I've done that. Now what if I want to change the decay on it? So, go into edit again. Decay, select rim shot again. I don't know how well that translates on the phone, but I've really shortened that now. So it's a very short decay on it. Now this is even easier to, to hear on the clap, because I think the clap's really short at the moment. But if I go into edit again, and go to tune, um, select clap. I'm pitching up the clap. Where it's really noticeable on the clap is if I go to decay, and then select clap. It's on its shortest value at the moment. Claps a lot bigger now. Uh, so that's a really cool thing to be able to get to and edit. Now again, as you notice, you can adjust any of these so you can give it a bit more room or crunch it up a little bit more. Um, so yeah, that's just a real quick overview of how you can access the edit function to be able to change individual instruments, tune them, adjust the decay. Um, we will do another video shortly going through how to write patterns in more depth, how to be able to live jump from pattern to pattern. If you're using this via MIDI, obviously you can clock it to Ableton, Logic, Cubase, whatever, um, and then hit record within there. As long as you've got the audio going in, uh, you can send clock to the unit and allow you to jump between patterns and kind of have a bit of a live feel, but still be perfectly in time with your sequencer, uh, allowing you to get great drum tracks down very easily. Um, so yeah, there you go, it's the Roland TR09 available now at DJ Tech Direct in Birmingham. Um, any questions, drop them in the comments below or give us a call on 0121 224 7650.